Hello, hello. So um, I beat this game a couple weeks ago, and then I realized to 100% it, I need to beat it like a total of five times. So I did that once, then I realized that's a lot of times to beat it. So I figured it would be <laughs> would good good be uh, would be a good game to stream. So I need to get Mario, Luigi, and Toad when it uh, beaten. I've done a couple levels as each of them. But for the most part, I played through the whole game as Peach and Rosalina. So I still have a couple characters to do. And I've been trying to make Thursdays my non-Factorio day, just so I could get one day a week that is with a controller game that, you know, is not Factorio with a controller, because I, I, um, <laughs> I think that causes me a great deal of stress. So I figured it would be easier to play games made per controller instead of games back made for controller uh retcon ret controllered uh that kind of works so yeah uh basically i just need to beat every level as mario and i feel like i've done at least a couple of the levels as mario before i realized you know i could change characters so I i'm just gonna play through all of them because they're pretty pretty fun game but yeah if you haven't played this game it's um it's a 3D Mario game, but it's like a, it's kind of like 2.5D. Like, it is fully 3D, but I think with just the angles that, it, oh, that was terrible. With the angles that it gives you, it feels kind of more like 2.5D. But, you know, it's still a 3D Mario game. So I'm a lot, a lot better at it than I am at 2D platformers. But that, that's not, that's still not very great. Because <laughs> uh, we, we all saw me, we all saw me play through Celeste for a few weeks. It was, uh, I was, uh. Really, really not not the best of 2Ds. But it's still a very, very adorable game. Probably... I don't know how many unique songs it has. It has my favorite Mario song, but I think it also just has a lot of variations on one from the other games. So it has a, a banger soundtrack. Just adorable graphics. And you can play as um, a lot of different characters, which is... Ooh, Katsuit. And while they're mostly the same... Like, they feel pretty similar, because you don't use, generally care that much about, like, going slightly faster or jumping slightly higher. But it's still fun. I Honestly, I would have been perfectly content if they were just entirely cosmetic changes, because I, I love when games just let you play in different outfits. Hence, you know, my give me drip command. Uh, it is there for a reason. I enjoyed changing my color in Factorio, and that is true for pretty much any other game. Uh, I always am changing my um, my fashion. Yeah, uh, I don't actually need to collect most of this stuff. Actually, is there any way for me to... Did I get a checkpoint recently? Nah, I guess it won't matter. I also want all of the flags at the end to be Rosalina. Which means I don't want to get to the top of the flagpole. But if you're a cat, I think you have to. But I'm pretty sure there's only a few levels where I'll have to kind of end at the top of the flagpole. So maybe after I 100% I'll go through and just redo the ones that have have the wrong flag. Oh my gosh, my allergies are awful today. Like, they've been bad for like a while, but they're just mm, really, really bad today. Ooh, we got a lottery so we can get some lives, which... That reminds me, I was actually going to go get set myself up to get infinite lives. Uh, maybe I'll do that next week. Because um, there's a there's a way you can like jump on shells, and then you can just walk away. And you just get alive like every second or something. So I thought it would have been very good to set up during the opening screen. And then I forgot about it, because two weeks passed, because I did not have this game in my Switch, and I forgot I wanted to do that. But may maybe when we go through as Luigi or something. But as you can see, I already did it for a little bit on my own because I already have like 200 lives. But it's very much like a you can't do anything while you're getting them situation. And also they're kind of not that necessary. Uh, so it's pretty much just a, a for fun thing. Because you don't tend to go through that many lives in this, except maybe on like the final level. Like the final areas, um, but that's 
but even if you lose them, it doesn't really make a huge difference. I think this is where I actually get the free life. It's it's something like, let's see, where is it? Is it here? No, this doesn't seem right. I don't remember exactly where you can do it. Is it here? I think it's here. Yeah. See, you can just sit there and get infinite lives. And it's <laughs> very repetitive sounding. Uh, but we've already gotten like 20 in the two seconds I was explaining how to do it. So yeah, it's uh, it's very good. Maybe it's best that I didn't put that as my starting, my starting soon screen, because I don't know if anyone would have actually stayed if they just heard that for five minutes, because <laughs> it's, it gets draining fast. It's a very, very high pitched sound. Yeah, I don't actually, so I don't need to grab all the stars because I already did that. You. You need them for 100%, but you only need them on one of the characters. And I already got them as uh, when I played through the first time. So yeah, now it's just uh, go through the levels. But I find it fun to gather the stars and secrets, even if I already know them. So like, if I see something, I go for it. Even though, you know, we definitely do not need it. Ooh, what's that now? Ooh, that's awesome. Asakumiki, welcome, welcome. Can you join? I do not have online for this game, unfortunately. My um, my subscription to the online lapsed because I stopped playing it for a while and realized uh, <laughs> I didn't play that many things online other than Animal Crossing with my with my sister. What's up for here? Oh, it's a it's a shortcut. That is now just a waste of time to go backwards. Maybe I should renew my subscription, because I've also, I've been wanting to play Monster Hunter Rise again, too. And it, um, it's a lot more fun online. That one definitely is better online. Because it's, uh, the, a lot of the later monsters get difficult. So, well, okay, I'm bad at Monster Hunter, so they get pretty difficult fast. Uh, my my brother-in-law does not agree. Yeah, this is my, um... What was the last time we played a non-Factorio game on stream? I guess if we count Sweek a... Wait, is this another life point? Yeah, it probably was. But yeah, uh, we've played Sweek a game a lot. I actually did add a redeem for that fairly recently. When... So people can just force me to play the, the watermelon game whenever they want. Which is a whole lot easier when I'm already playing a Switch game. Uh, it was very difficult the other day when someone redeemed it during Factorio, because I did not confirm my Switch was working, and uh, or my capture card was working. So it was like five minutes to set up, which was quite quite the technical difficulty stream. Oh look, more lives. I mean, we already have 281, so this isn't that useful, but we might as well get it. Oh man, I, I forgot what beat I was jumping on. Oh well, still decent. At, le at least I got two pairs. So each of the separate beats were on time. Okay, so we got... Honestly, I've already done most of these levels as Mario, I think. Or maybe I realized I could switch characters after two levels. Because I think that... Um, I mostly play Peach. I like Peach and Rosalina a lot. So pretty much as soon as I could abandon Mario, I did. But then I realized I needed to beat the game. Five times total. Once with each character, and that complicated things just a little bit. But yeah, it's a very good game. I also replayed through Bowser's Fury recently. And that reminded me, I, I think it was last week. And that reminded me I needed to uh, change up my Thursdays. Wait, what's my Thursday command? I don't know if I corrected it. What does what happens if I type Thursday? Right, right, right. Okay. I mean, I still want that one. That's I love that picture. Let's see. Command. Edit. 
Thursday. On Thursdays, I will be trying out non-factorial games. There we go. That's not spelled right. <laughs> okay, I was close. I was close. Let's try again. Thank you, Nightbot. Uh, da -da. Command. <laughs> Thursday. I didn't even spell Thursdays right. Wow, I probably should have double-checked all of that message. Trying out non factorio games. Wait, can I not edit them? On the... I wonder if I can't edit them on this. Let's try one more, one more time. Or is it edit command? That might be that might be the problem. Thursdays, I will be trying out non factorio games. There we go. That works. I I think you can actually do it both ways, but I'm pretty sure I misspelled something every single time. Okay, there we go. Let's see, pal block. Ooh, we got a cat. Nice. The cat suit. Well, actually, the cat suit's kind of. I kind of don't want it. Because I do want all of the flagpoles to stay the same, which means I don't actually want to get to the top of them. But on the other hand, the cat suit is, is so, fu so fun that. Wait, how can I get that? The cat suit is so fun that I don't necessarily want to. Uh, <laughs> want to not use it. I think I would rather just replay the levels that have cat suits in them. And then get the flagpole again. Because I want them all to be Rosalina. Or Peach. Probably run up Rosalina. I, I'm not sure which flag is my favorite yet. Probably the one with the star, though. Because it's cool. Is there something up here? Yes. I know. I, I, I'm pretty sure I, I've already gotten all the stars and stuff. But I forget where all the thing, where all the, the goodies are. So it's fun to go through the areas a second time. Even if they're not strictly necessary for my new goal. Ow. <laughs> that was that was a bad start. Wait. Um I feel like I'm supposed to either have a star or a cat suit here. Uh I mean we made it through, so it's fine. But that definitely was not what's supposed to happen. There we go. Yeah, I think I just assumed I was gonna have a star, because pretty much all of the other cloud areas have a star. So I just I just held forward. <laughs> and now I'm tiny. Good good start. But on the plus side, I don't have a cat suit, so I I did achieve my goal of getting hit before the end, so that way I don't have to redo the level. Although, there's still two more chances for me to have to redo the level, so maybe, maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe I should just assume I'm gonna get the flagpole on all of them, because uh, we can still mess up as Luigi, and we can still mess up as Toad. So what's this? Switch Scramble Circus. I don't really remember these worlds. Uh, basically, what the way I played this game, I went through the whole, let's see, I went through the whole first, like, seven or eight worlds. Oops, that was, that was not good. As um, Peach, then I unlocked Rosalina, and I went through the end as Rosalina. Or no, then I decided to restart the whole game as Rosalina, and then go through the end as Rosalina. And then I went through the end as Peach. So it's been like a, like six months since I played the early levels, I think. Oh my gosh, why? I don't even need to hit them. <laughs> why, am, why am I bouncing on those? It's not even what I'm supposed to do here. There we go. Yeah, uh, one downside of playing mostly as Rosalina is you, you keep forgetting you don't have a way to hit people without an ability, aside from like the classic Mario jump. And before this, I was playing Mario Odyssey. So I really am not used to just jumping on enemies to destroy them. I'm so used to Cappy and stuff. Definitely not used to uh, just classic Mario. Uh, my sister, my sister was. She absolutely loved the Mario games growing up. I was always a, I was always a Kirby person. Ooh, star. Not like we need it, but there is a star up here. Yeah, they're both great games, but I was always... I always played Kirby. 
I don't know what it was about it. I think it was just fun having all the all the different powers. Especially the Kirby games that let you combine powers. Those were sick. Also, Kirby is adorable. I mean, you can't go wrong with that. Okay. Why does this level look familiar? Oh, okay. So I didn't technically play this level recently. But the end worlds have a couple zones where they basically redo the early levels, but harder, and I think that's why this is feeling so familiar. Ooh, we got a fire flower, nice. And a secret area I don't need to go to. Oh, I'm just supposed to find the star, okay. Let me guess, it's gonna be the last block I break. Oh, not quite. It was the second to last block I broke. But I imagine it's not random. Probably the same every time. Yeah, and then, um, what else is going on? Oh, right. So, I'm trying to switch Thursdays to be my, my non-factorio day. Or not switch. I'm trying to continually do it. I've been trying to do it for a while. Um, but I keep getting distracted by factorio mods. And then, oh wait, I don't have a fire flower anymore. And then Mondays is still Meme Run Monday. But I'm thinking I might start them on Sundays if it if I think the playthrough will be longer. Uh, so that way it doesn't take me like three weeks to get through a meme run. Or two months. Like the the randomizer was like 15, 20 hours long or something. So that took me like two months to get through. Uh, so I'm thinking I'll probably make some changes to my schedule there as well. Uh, but there still will be something on Monday. It just might be the second the second part of the stream. Because I do have a lot of ideas and if they that I want to do this year, and if they all take like a month, uh, I will not get them all done this year with just one day a week. But yeah, lots of stuff. Lots of stuff planned. I've been much better about following my schedule. I even like set it as my my Twitch schedule so people can actually see it. And I can be like, yo, I have one now. Because uh, it's a lot easier to do a two hour stream consistently than it is for me to do a four hour one. But I'm pretty much always free between one and three. But like I wasn't able to stream consistently when I was trying to do 11 to three. Uh, but less often. Yeah, uh, lots of small changes to my schedule. I mean, it's still, it's still at the same time, so I guess they're not really changes. Refinements, refinements to my schedule would probably be a better way to describe it. Okay, so we got that one's done with Mario. Oh wait, why have I done this one with four people, and not Peach? Wait, oh, Peach is the third character. Okay. Um, not like it makes a difference, I'm just... I wonder if this has a Luigi block in it or something. Because that's the only reason I could think I would do that as Luigi. See, I don't think I need to redo the Captain Toad levels. But I definitely need to redo the, the Bowser castles. Wait, did I jump to the top of the flagpole? Okay, good. Good, good, good. I, I imagine that I'll be jumping to the flagpole out of habit on accident a lot. Just because um, it's a lot more fun to jump to the top. You know, maybe I should just aim for the top. It's very satisfying. And just plan to do it, beat this game four more times instead of three. I mean, it's not a huge difference at that point, right? It's only like 30% more time investment. Probably a little less. Because I would get a little bit better at it. Okay, and this is a... Um, oh wait, this is a castle level. I don't think that really means anything. Like, it do I don't think it makes a difference in what I have to do. I mean, it's really just get to the end of the level and call it good. Especially, oh, I'm, yep, 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 yep. That was not supposed to be a long jump, that was supposed to be a dive. Or wait, no, that was supposed to be a long jump. That's fine. It's not like it really, really matters. It just means I don't get a cat suit now, but that's okay. Because I don't need it. This is like 
the world one boss. Really shouldn't be dying, but that's okay. I just like clicking the buttons. Uh, I've also been wanting to play through Super Mario 64. That might be a good Thursday game. Especially since it would probably just be like a couple Thursdays. Like it would be, a, it's a pretty quick game. Unless I keep dying on like one really hard star. But for the most part, I think you can probably get most of the game done in a few hours. Casually. I mean, obviously way faster speed run, but I think even casually just playing through doesn't take that long. Unless I tried to do dumb things, which is possible. Uh, I do tend to try to play well above my, my skill level in a lot of games, and it makes things end up taking like 10 times longer. Which is worth it, but because it's fun, but boy, is it not fast. Do I have to kick these things? I don't know if I, I probably have to hit those, don't I? Oh wait, can I just, wait, can I just fireball him? Well, that sounds easy. Wait, can I jump on these? I feel like I can jump on them. Because that's kind of the only way I could possibly hit them if I did not have a fireball. If I can jump on him, <laughs> I don't trust myself. Okay, will you give me a soccer ball, dude? Please, please. We'll play some football. No? Okay. He just, he just left me. Yep. That sounds about right. I don't actually know if that's a bad thing. I feel like I'm definitely doing something wrong. I guess I, oh, I could just use the motion controls. I think that'll just trivialize it. Yeah, that works. Kind of forget those are a thing. Or maybe you're not supposed to. Maybe you don't jump on them to kick them back. I don't know, I feel like all of the main stuff in this game should be completable without any power. So I think I'm just bad at jumping on objects. I'll, I'll get better considering I have to do three Three playthroughs with it? Yeah, I'm sure I'll improve by the end of it. And then I think there's a way to like momentum cancel with this. Ooh. Okay, not not quite like that. Almost. But yeah, there's definitely a way to get speed there. With the cat suit. Wait, can I actually edit screen info from here? Sorry if you're not talking about my current- oh no, I don't mind at all. Conversations definitely do not have to be relevant to whatever game I'm playing. I've never had a policy like that. You have a Factorio saved it- in Factorio saved it forever and have been playing- wait, one save for 800 hours? But do you know any good websites to find huge blueprints for mega builds in cities? Um, you can- I think- I think you can browse stuff on Factorio prints, I'm pretty sure is what it what it's called. Let's see. That's like a public blueprint sharing library. I'm pretty sure you can just browse stuff in general. That are popular. Yeah, you can just kind of browse things there by popularity. Uh, for like various stages of the games, mods as well. Uh, you could also check the Factorio Reddit, that's pretty decent. Uh, I think just r slash Factorio. You can usually find people talking about blueprints. Uh, YouTube videos as well, you could probably just... Because uh, there are a lot of people who do like tours of mega bases, and they provide like a save file in the... Or blueprints in the in the bottom, generally, like in the description. So I'll, I'll, I'll get decent options. I personally do not have any, <laughs> any blueprints to share for, for these kinds of things because uh, <laughs> I've only ever done speed runs and I've never done like the mega base like speed run, you know, 100%. So um, my knowledge of Factorio is very limited to that for the most part. Uh, my space exploration, playthrough is trying to do a little bit more big abasing, but it's uh it's not working well. 
That was what happens when you put like a thousand hours into speedrun and only like 50 hours into playing, playing the game casually. Eh, it wasn't that low. It was like, I put 200 hours into Vectorio before speedrunning it. But it was over the course of like 10 years, I would like binge it for like 50 hours and then forget everything for like two years and then binge it again for like 50 hours. Until I um until I started streaming. Then I started playing it way more consistently. Yeah, Nephrims has like actually like decent designs. <laughs> uh he's I mean it helps that he's been speedrunning for a long time. And he does the I mean he designs the runs, so that helps. So yeah, he's a very good designer. I don't know. I've I've never seen him play casually. I've only ever seen him speedrun and do mods where he's been running. So I am curious what kind of mega bases he can make. I imagine they're decent if considering his 100% file. But that is also made for speed, so it's hard to say. But I am a I'm a huge fan of the spaghetti. <laughs> uh, if you hadn't haven't seen my space exploration, uh, it's like pure spaghetti. There's nothing else in the base other than spaghetti. When you guys play in build, it looks so easy. Well, when it's a, when it's a practice build, that definitely helps. Because it's something you just have memorized, so you don't have to think about it. Whenever, whenever I have to make something new, I, I definitely feel like I'm struggling. <laughs> but a lot of that is self-inflicted by that so... By that aforementioned... Oh, this requires motion controls. Okay. But a lot of it is inflicted by... Um, my previous spaghetti. And uh, I don't really have an excuse other than I find it fun. But like, every time I build something, I acknowledge that this is gonna cause so many problems later, and then I change nothing and I still go through with it. And let me tell you, it, it causes problems later. I, I was right. But I was, uh, <laughs> but I didn't wanna fix it. I was stubborn. <laughs> Uh, and then we've we've caused a lot of issues with that, which I think honestly I do think that's a fun way to play. Wait, oh I'm supposed to wall jump. Also the motion controls for this are really really trippy. They're like, it's hard to explain. It doesn't. It's like twistier than I would imagine. Is that is that a good word? Because that's how I would describe it. I think it's something I could get used to. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they're very twisty. I build so fast. Practice, practice, practice. Yeah, practice helps a lot. Like, my any percent like muscle memory was very decent, so... Uh, it's a lot easy to, easier to build things when you, like, do it a consistent way. And things like smelting lanes, uh, basic, like, chip production, like, those kinds of patterns you can usually carry over into... Uh, pretty much any other, any part of the build. Because you're pretty much always going to be using smelting lanes no matter like what mod you play and stuff. Now the more specific things like the, um, how we built like purple and yellow science, I have found that that does not translate very well into mods. Because uh, sciences are always changed. And that is a very specific like ratio that it's built around. But aside from that, uh, yeah, a lot of the knowledge is transferable because you just get used to like the hotkeys and stuff. Although on on Monday, I think Monday, yeah, on Monday I'll be doing a really fun meme run, which I think will be incredibly not fast looking because I won't be able to see much. Uh, nobody will re really be able to see much. Uh, it's codenamed Invisifactory, which might give an idea of what it is. It's gonna be really fun, so super, super looking forward to that. Uh, I made made it myself too, so I'm proud of that. It's not really a mod. I modified the game files myself. It is not in like a mod package though, because I don't know how to do that. But it's gonna be really something. Uh, I think it will be possible.
I mean, it's definitely possible. I think it will be possible in one day. But it depends. Hmm. It depends. It depends if I decide to play with biters or not. Normally I don't play with biters, but they'll actually be pretty beneficial for this challenge. <clears throat> or not beneficial. They'll be entertaining for it. So I think I might do... I'm thinking like any percent map generation, but with biters on. So like I'll have all the resources turned up, but I'll also have biters. So that way, uh... That way we can see what, see if uh, biters become invisible too, because I don't actually know. Uh, I just basically deleted one folder, and everything in that folder I'm playing without visuals for. It's gotta be great. <laughs> so your um, so your 100 hour one is that um, is that like a default settings world? Or like super enriched resources. So I, I feel like if it's default settings, the biters must be pretty gnarly by now. Wait, how do I get to this? Oh, I probably... Oh, those are blocks I can break. Ah, that makes sense. I feel like I should know this by now. I beat this game like twice. But I forget things quickly. Wait, can I go through here? Ooh, I can. Let me guess. I feel like I'm missing something. Oh! Oh, well, that's cool. I mean, that makes sense. I I genuinely do not remember the first worlds. Uh, they were... It was like last Christmas when I played through most of these. Right? Was it that long ago? Yeah, it was. Woo! Yeah, with, uh, with the cat suit, you just climb up the you just climb up the pole, so it's pretty much... Im I think it is impossible to not hit the top of the flagpole. Okay. So that is... I wonder how long this will take. I feel like... I know, like, the any, any percent run in this game is, like, an hour and a half. But I keep getting sidetracked by just grabbing stars because they're fun to grab. And I also am a lot worse. So I would- I feel like... Maybe I could do one playthrough today? I could at least play through most of the world. I don't know if I can get through the, the post-game stuff. Because I'm actually- they're actually really hard for me. Like, the, the post-game is a huge step up in difficulty from the- from the base game, at least the the very end of it. <clears throat> and boy does it uh boy does it trip me up. It's a good thing we have 270 lives. I'll, I'll put it that way, because I I think I'll go through like a hundred of them, which is a very time consuming for like one level. But every other level isn't too bad. It's it's really just the last level and the second to last level. Other than that, I think most of the levels in this game are fairly easy. At least to just complete. Some of them are really hard to find the stars in, but like they're all easy to do. They're just a lot more hidden than others. Wait, this level looks familiar too. I think this level's in the post game. But like modified to be dark. So it, it's uncanny. It looks dissimilar, but also doesn't. Gosh, I don't know if I'll actually be able to... Hmm. I'm not sure if I'll be able to stream long enough to beat this. I keep, like, um... I've, ha I've been fighting a cough for a while. Like, I would say... I don't know. I, I mean, I've always had, like, a chronic cough. Uh, I get really bad allergies, so I'm incredibly allergic to my state. And then I moved. And then I was even more allergic to the new area. Which is... Not great. Uh, I'm trying different allergy meds soon, so hopefully that helps. But yeah, I've had like a chronic, uh, a bad cough and like 
for at least uh, two months now, like consistently. I would not recommend. It's really, it's really hard to dock. Wait, can I grab this? Can I grab it infinitely? Does that do anything? No. But yeah, I have to have uh, basically a mute button on my keyboard just for every time I cough. Which, I mean, is just a normal mute button, but that's pretty much all it gets used for, because there's not much to mute other than that. Yeah, good times. Good times. There are people who go their whole life without allergies, I think, I imagine, and I'm very jealous. <laughs> Although they didn't- they never got super bad for me until recent- until- until I moved. I, I feel like they were much more manageable. If only I had moved to a place that has good internet, and then then it would be more justifiable. But now I have bad internet and worse allergies, which is not, which they're not related. But I would, <laughs> but they're both related to where I live, and I don't like it. <laughs> don't like either of those options. I don't. I wonder what the highest score is. Do people do people high score compete for high score in this game? I don't really know. Like, I feel like if a game has a score, there's probably people grinding for, like, high score world records. But when a game also has, like, a timer, like, I feel like speedruns tend to be more prevalent. But this game seems like it could have either. Although I don't know if there's a limit to the high score. I mean, there probably is. I don't know how easy that limit is to reach. But either way, even though I never, like, the points don't mean anything, it's very satisfying to get high, large numbers of points. They, they understand. Points feel good. Grabbing coins feels fun, even if they're not useful. It's nice to do. I feel like I'm supposed to defeat all of these soldier thingies. The wind-up soldiers? They probably have a name. Cuberts? They're probably not Cubert. No, I did not. I was not supposed to delete them. I was just supposed to. I was just supposed to continue on. Oh, and I was fooled by that. Okay. Oh, but now there's coins. I want the coin. I want. I want the coins. <laughs> Give me the coins. There we go. Completely useless, but I'm glad I have them now. Okay, now I have three Mario's. Which, if there's ever a situation where I need three Mario's, that'll be very useful. I don't think I actually need them. Because there's no way they're going to be required for the level. If anything, they might be required for a star that I already have. Oh, they're also really good for grabbing the red coins. That's nice. And we can group them together by like running to walls, which is helpful. Although, I lost one. That's a un bit unfortunate. Okay, so we're still... If we're ever in a situation where I need three Marios, we're good. If I need four, I'm out of the running. Let's... I feel like it's gotta be four, isn't it? Yeah, it's gotta be four. But, you don't always necessarily need... need them. What does... It, wait, what does the four do? Does it just go up this platform? I imagine there's either like a secret star up here. Yeah, okay. That actually looks like one where you do need all four. Usually, uh, a lot of the times, if there's a platform, if you just do some wall jumps, you can usually get up there without it. That looks a bit too high, though, for that. Don't know for sure. But, maybe, maybe I won't spend too much time on it, because it very much might not be... It very much might not be possible. Rosalina might be able to get it. Or like Luigi, someone with higher jumps. Oh, wait, is that the end of the world too? I feel like I've missed some levels. Hold on, where is my course list? Because some levels are kind of like hidden away. See, I need Bowser Castle. Okay, looks like this is the last one for uh, World 2. Maybe they just start doing more of the hidden levels as it goes on. Because I feel like most of the levels I missed were in, like, World 5 during my first playthrough. Well, 
I don't think it was that hard to get all the the initial ones though. Let's see, is there anything good here? Ooh, we got some. We got a fire flower. I'll take it. Thank you very much. Although that did sacrifice a cat suit, which I feel like overall that is the uh, worst trade. That's just gonna be points. That doesn't do anything. I was hoping it was a Mega Mushroom, but I think the Mega Mushrooms are a different color. See, I can get... I can get a little hat. A little hat cannon. I imagine... It does something? It could just be for fun. Honestly, a lot of the, a lot of the stuff in these levels, I'm pretty sure is just for fun. Or to, like, make things a little bit easier. Like, they don't always unlock secrets. But this one, I don't know, it seems... seems sus. But, uh, I have not seen anything yet, so maybe... Maybe I was not... maybe I was not wrong. Okay, that works. Right? Can I get that? Oh, I can't! Oh, wait! You can get stars with the cannon shells? Well, that's cool. I guess that makes sense, because I think you can grab them with the boomerang, too. But the boomerang makes more sense, because, you know, it comes back to you. This one just looks like it would obliterate it. But I'm not complaining. I'll, I'll take the free long-distance star grabs. Especially if and then I wouldn't get it otherwise. Oh! It did do something. <laughs> we did need the cannon. Cool. I mean, we didn't need the cannon, because I already have the star. But, like, it was there for a reason. They wanted you to carry it through the level, and that makes me happy. Can I not just blow this guy up? Okay, so a cannon can't do that, but a, a little flimsy fireball will? That's a, that's a weak-ass cannon. Yeah, we'll, we'll stick with the classics. There weren't cannons in the original Fire Mario. That means... That means they're unnecessary. Wait, were there fireballs in the original Mario? I think so. The first Mario had power-ups, didn't it? Wait, did it? No, yeah, it definitely had power-ups. Yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like the first Mario had power-ups. I don't think it was just run, jump. I want to say it had, a, or at least one power-up. It had fire flowers. I don't think it had anything else yet, but it definitely had that. I say definitely, but I have like 90% confidence. So that's really making it hard to say definitely. Okay, clear time 2.30, cool. Is that in seconds? Is that, wait, does that count down or up? I don't actually know. I feel like it probably counts down. Okay, that should be everything in level 1 and 2. Cool. Oh my gosh. My throat is not having it today. Oh wait, is this a snow world? Is this a snow world? I love snow worlds. I, I know I've already... It's so weird, like, I've... It, I guess I just... I don't think I remember games very well. Like, when I play through them, I tend to forget a lot of things in games pretty fast. Which is great, because it means you can play through the game again and have a most... <clears throat> that didn't happen. Uh, okay, first time on this level, let's go. Yeah, it means I can play through games and have a mostly fresh experience. Because I forget most of the levels within, like, I'd say a year. Like, uh, what was it? I played through Dark Souls 2 recently with one of my friends. Uh, he was super big on the first game, I was super big on the second one. So when we played through together, it was really cool, because, like, you know, I could give him tips for Dark Souls 2, and he could give me tips for Dark Souls 1, and it was really awesome. Except for the fact that I, uh, did not remember the levels very well. Like, I knew generally what would happen to be like, hey, you should be cautious here, but I couldn't say exactly why. Can I, like, not jump on these dudes? I guess... Maybe if, uh, maybe if I was taller. 
Ooh, wait, wait, wait. I want that. I want that. I want that. Is that cool? Can I have that, please? Yes. Cool. And I feel like I feel like I didn't need that. Because uh, there's more here. That seems... This seemed useless. This seems completely useless. Oh, well. Oh, there we go. I didn't need it. It gave me a backup for when I inevitably hit the wall. It's just what I wanted. I'm glad it's there to look out for me. Does one of these do something? I feel like one of these does something. Uh, no. No, it does not. Well, I had a suspicion. They don't always pan out. And now I lost now I lost the the shoe. Well, we don't need that. Where we're going. We just need snowballs and the ability to fly and feel like I feel like there's something here. Yep. Oh wait, can I get that? I don't know if I can get that. Wait, how do I get that? Um, is there's no way that's not possible, but I don't know how to get it with the, the Tanuki outfit. Because you can, you can wall jump and you can like do a little roll to get a bit of extra height. Okay, you can, I guess you can kind of do that in the Tanuki suit. It doesn't work as well, but I mean it did get us the star. We did bonk, but we did get the star. I'll take it. Okay, I think after... What does this mean? What does it mean 80? Oh, is that... Oh, that's uh, characters. I accidentally clicked on my stream info and it said I had 84 remaining titles and I was very confused. So I was like, I can only change my title a grand total of 84 times a year. But no, it just meant I had 84 characters left I could put in the title. Not like I would ever want to max out a title. like. I think on mobile, people can only see the first, like, 20 characters or something. Uh, so anything important needs to go in, like, basically two words. So I don't know why how, how I could possibly use 200 characters. Uh, unless it was just, like... Oh, wait, no! I want more coins! No? Oh, okay. The level keeps moving. But unless I wanted to just put, like list every command or something in the title uh, there's not really much of a reason for me to do that Ooh. wait am I alive maybe okay I, I was not expecting to make it out of that I'm definitely not complaining but now I just have to do a little waiting you know what I think there's a star but we don't need it we're just gonna go we're just gonna go we need to start ignoring the stars because we'll We'll see them again with Luigi and Toad. I'm sure I'll get all the stars again at some point. There we go. Nope, 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 nope. I try to save it. I'd press the right button and jumped off the wall. I think it could have worked if I just climbed, but since I immediately jumped off, it, uh, it did not work. Because <laughs> you can only climb for so long, which makes sense. They don't want you to just climb up the entire level. Uh, fortunately, we had a checkpoint right there, so we are good. Don't... I don't know what's happening here. There we go. Yeah, this is uh, one of those auto-scroller stages. Which isn't like... They're not inherently bad, but when you die in an auto-scroller, it definitely feels a lot worse than the other levels. Because you know you can't, like, rush to get back to where you were. You, you still have to just wait. So it's like, casually playing through a game once, I think auto-scrollers are perfectly fine level design. But as soon as you have to do it one more time, I realize the, the flaw of auto-scrollers. Like, they're just a one-and-done type of thing, really. Did I die again? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I thought I would be able to climb up that platform. I was not able to climb up that platform. But that's fine, because we get to wait for the auto-scroller again. Woo! 
Uh, I think I'll also play a bit of Suica game today, because I actually want to do that as well. Because even if people don't redeem it, uh, it's still a game I very much want to play. Highly addicting. Uh, there's been a ton of knockoffs recently, which I've been loving. Uh, I've only played a couple of the knockoffs, mostly because they tend to be browser versions. And I definitely prefer playing a game like this week a game on a controller. Uh, I guess it could work pretty decently as a phone app, but there's there's less than I would want. I really want them to release the official Suica game as... I did not jump. I did not jump! Oh my gosh. <laughs> Why? Why am I dying five times on, like... I mean, I, I know why. It's in my name. Anti-patience. I'm dying on an auto-scroller. Because <laughs> I just get impatient and click the buttons and then it kills me. And there's just nothing I can do but wait. There we go. I mean, I guess I could just keep... I could just keep gathering, like, the, the stamps and stuff. That at least gives me something to do during, during the waits. Or, or I can make it riskier by waiting until the end and then try to catch up. Which, uh, I don't think really complicates it that much. Wait, will that come back in time? Yes, okay, that was um, way, way riskier than it should have been. But I accidentally stepped from the platform, so there's not much I could do about that. I feel like you could get to the top of the flagpole with this, right? Yeah, yeah, you don't need to go all the way up and get a cat scan. Wait, why did they even give you the option to use a cat suit to get to the top? Because, like, a cat suit automatically gets you to the top of the flagpole. Maybe they just want to always make it possible to jump to the top even without a cat suit? I don't know, that's, that's weird. Like, you need a cat suit to get it, so they don't need to make it possible. Maybe it was just a fun thing. Could just be that people prefer having the option to jump to the top even if they don't need to. That's a valid, that's a valid reason. Shifty Boo Mansion. I don't know what that means. What makes it shifty? Do we not believe him? Is he sketchy? Does he have shifty eyes that like follow me like a painting? Or is he someone you would not want to walk down an alley next to? Because he's shady. Or shifty. Probably that one. I mean, I wouldn't... I, I don't I don't really trust Boo, so it's, it's probably that one. Okay, so we got some coins. Good. We got some purple doors. Why does this level look so familiar? I think this might be another level that also had a remake in, like, the post-game. Because it looks awfully familiar. Like, obviously, all the levels should look familiar, because I've played them all. But some of them look extra familiar, like I played them recently. Oh. Hello. Sorry, someone's at the door. Oh, wait. Oh, come on. I was bamboozled. I feel like I should have seen that coming, but it got me either way. Yeah, we got, um, picked up some new allergy meds, so hopefully this works. Because my, um, my voice has been really reserved for, like, the past six months. Because I've basically just had on and off coughing problems. And when that happens, your voice just gets super hoarse. Uh, so I'm hoping that new allergy medicines will like get my normal inflection back. Uh, so I speak a little bit less monotone and quietly. Because at the moment, I have my mic pretty much maxed out because I have to speak so quietly. Uh, which means it picks up a lot of background noise. Which I can filter out, but then it... It causes a lot of other audio issues if I filter it out too harshly. Uh, so there isn't really a great solution uh, with how quietly I have to talk. So really, really hoping those get resolved. 
Because if I uh, if I can't stream at 10 uh, if I can't stream above 720p, uh, I would really like to at least have decent audio. Because that is the one thing that doesn't take up a ton of data. It still takes up a bit. I mean, like 10% of the... I would say about 10% of my streaming quality does go into audio, I think. Because I have to stream at such a low bit rate that the audio channel is actually like a substantial amount of that. Which is wild to me. Because, uh, you know, normally you would do a stream at 6,000 Mbps. No, sorry, 6,000 Kbps. And audio is about 100. But I stream at like 1,500. So with audio at 128, that's a pretty good chunk of it. Not, I guess it's not quite, not quite 10%. It's like 8%, uh, but still, it's a very sizable chunk. Uh, which is also why uh, I have people, have had people ask why I don't do background music. Uh, mostly I'm not a huge fan of just background music unless it's um, the game soundtrack on repeat. But the big reason is that it is actually a sizable chunk of my uh, my uh, bandwidth to be able to split those up. Which there isn't really... Oh wait, can I get this? No, that's Peach. But yeah, it's a sizable chunk of bandwidth to uh, split them up. And if you don't split them up, pretty much got to have your entire VOD silenced. And I just uh, am not able to send two, two channels to Twitch at the moment. Yay. <laughs> Maybe one day. Maybe one day I'll move and I'll actually get internet. Or maybe if I call the internet company enough, they'll eventually give in and route it out to us for free. Pro probably not. I, I think I could pay them like $10,000 to do it. But I can't imagine they would just want to do that themselves. Like, it would pay for themselves, pay for itself eventually if they did it for free, but I, you know, I doubt they'd want to. Cause there, there's enough people in our neighborhood that they would make it back pretty fast. Considering they would be, uh, pretty much everybody here would immediately switch. Wait, can I just sit on this? For like 50 seconds? Is that an option? All the levels that let you get infinite coins, they either have the screen auto-scrolling, so you can't get them just forever, or they have the timer be super low. But this timer is like 50 seconds, so definitely lets you sit for a while. But you uh, you cannot go wrong with, with the infinite coin blocks in this game. They are deeply satisfying. Okay, uh, should I leave? Yeah, I should probably leave. Yep. Yeah, it took a lot longer to get here than I thought. Glad I left. I thought I was going to get there in like a second, so I was going to wait until the last second. But then it would have killed me and I've had to redo all of it. Which wouldn't t be hard, but definitely not ideal. Okay, and then I think there's... How many more levels? Okay, there's four more levels. Okay, I'll do... I'll finish out this world and then I will switch to Suica game. Because I have been trying to get two watermelons. And it's not been going great. Because that's an incredibly hard goal, I think. Because uh, I've only made it to 3,000 points. Or I've made it to 3,300 points. And I feel like the difficulty bump between two watermelons and 3,000 points is pretty significant. I've also heard that Suica game actually has a point cap, which is a bit unfortunate. Because, like... The whole point of the, well, not the whole point, but like one of the main things about com getting two watermelons is they clear the board for you. So you could theoretically get uh, infinite points, you know, I think. I, I imagine you could theoretically get infinite points if you kept clearing the board, which I think would be awesome. Although, yeah, no, I don't, I don't see any downside to that. I think it would be really cool if they let people do that. Um, but as far as I can tell, it caps at like 10,000, a little under 10,000. Like, you could still pretend you have a high score, go for like, you know, 20, 30 watermelons or something in a single game, uh, but it won't officially increase the score, which is sad. 
Because that seems like the perfect kind of, like, the perfect genre of games, game for infinitely increasing score. You know, like Tetris and stuff. Because I don't think Tetris... Oh, that was bad. Wait, what do I do here? I'm very confused. I'm, I wasn't expecting it to make me swim. I mean, it's not really a problem. I just wasn't prepared for that. But yeah, I uh, like Tetris. I think Tetris, at least modern Tetrises, allow it to go forever. Because I think one of the bigger... Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> that was so close. I should have long jumped. But like one of the bigger... Thinking like more modern Tetris, uh, one of the biggest issues was that people eventually got so good at it that it was way too easy to beat it or something, or like max out the score, or maybe it just got boring. Well, one of those. I'm sure one of those is right. This definitely, this definitely has something. Yep. Thought so. Thought it seemed suspicious, but there was a gap there. Okay, if I time this right, I might be able to break that. And if I time it wrong, I would just die. And I barely timed it right. But we're good. We got it. But yeah, uh, this is uh, Suica, if you haven't seen it. Um, it's very much uh, like Tetris-like. Oh my gosh. The same thing. I fell for the same thing. Why is my character so slow? I figured, like, I would keep my momentum. But I think it does not keep your momentum if you roll. Pretty sure it just stops you entirely. Whoa! Long jumping on the other hand. That's fast. You just launch. Also, do I even need... I feel like I don't need this platform to get across. It seems... It seems unnecessary. I mean, I don't know that for sure. But it really feels like... Really feels like I could just jump out of the water and get enough height. Maybe I'll remember to try that when I have Luigi or something. Not like uh, I don't think I would need Luigi to do it. It just I have to do it. Uh, play play this game a couple more times anyway. Might as well do it with. Might as well try it with um, a different character instead of trying to redo this a third time with Mario. <laughs> I've died enough as it is. You know what? I don't need this. We're we're skipping them. We're skipping him. And then, uh, I guess I just fall? This feels sketchy. Oh! Oh, look at that. It is sketchy. Uh, and I am one hit away from death. Not really the situation I wanted to be in. Because now I actually have to, like, time my jump. Instead of just damage boosting through, which was keck, which was, uh, going to be my plan. Then I feel like I go down, right? Probably. Yeah, and then then I go towards the bottom of the flat pole, the bottom of the flagpole, and disappoint everyone because I <laughs> I don't want to get the tops. Okay, how many more levels do we have? We have three more, and then Suica game seems reasonable. Wait. Plus one more. Wait, is that a... Is this like a Lego track? Because that's adorable. Oh wait, I've already done this level as Mario. Mount must dash. Mount... Like mountain? Or we get a mount. I feel like I don't get a mount. Because I don't think... Don't think Yoshi is in this game. Which is sad. Because the best part of every Mario game is dropping Yoshi into a bottomless void when you realize you don't need him to finish the level because <laughs> that's exactly how I played Super Mario World he uh, did not make it for me make it with me through the final jumps am I gonna die no okay you uh, kick people while you're sliding that's good I had very little confidence there wait did my controller die no okay I just kept running in the straight direction and couldn't turn definitely a user issue, I just don't know exactly what I did wrong, but that's okay. I'm sure I'll learn. Do I need this? No, I don't. I'm just gonna... We don't need the stamps. I and mean, we're trying to get three stamps. Uh, that's why we're repeating the levels. I don't... 
There is a green star up there, which I obviously got before. I have no idea how I got it. Because I don't think I ever figured out how to, like, carry my momentum to... I hit the top of the platform. I hit the top of the platform. That's fine. Or flag. <laughs> That's fine. It's not ideal. We'll have to redo that level as we're leaning now at some point. That's okay. Or I'll just forget about it. It might not bother me at the end. Whenever I have like a mix of them, I think that's okay. It's just like right now we're in a situation where I have like 95% of the flags. Ooh. This is nothing. But it is very pretty. But right now we're in a situation where I have about 95% of the flags as Rosalina. And like 5 as other people. So it's very tempting to just keep them all. Try to like realign them at the end. But I feel like maybe... I feel like maybe it'll reach a point where just from a lot of mistakes they become a lot more varied and it's like 20%. Uh, then it's a lot more acceptable. Also this song right here. Probably my favorite Mario song. There's just... I don't know what it is about it. But it's fantastic. It just makes me so happy. It's a very chill song, but also like super upbeat. It's a very, which is very fitting, like that is a very good beach song. And I never knew it was a 3D World song. I always assumed it was, I always assumed it was, let's see, Sunshine? Yeah, I always assumed it would be Sunshine, because you know, beach. But I think it was made for this game. And I uh, am very fond of it. Not a huge fan of the levels that feature it because they're mostly water levels, and even a good water level is generally not a good level in any game. Uh, it's hard to make water levels. Like, uh, you you have a game based around movement, and then you just immediately remove all movement from the game, except for, like, swimming. So it's a, it's definitely a hard thing to, hard thing to do well. Okay, that's good. I, f I could have. I feel like, I feel like I missed a green star. I feel like that um that really long tunnel, that didn't have anything in the sides. I feel like there's a secret star there, if you just like held a direction. Because it really seems like there would be some kind of invisible tube there. Oof, the ring sounds so good so good in this game they uh honestly they uh, they like rival sonic with like how good it feels to just run through like a ring which is saying something because uh this game is not about rings it's about coins so but sonic sonic is the master of rings he's like the frodo of platformers i guess he's frodo's not really a platformer he's a bearer of the rings but he's known, he's known for the ring, even though he didn't forge it, or was like the first one to find it, or really did much with, or really did much with it. Maybe that was a bad example. I should have gone with, um, should have gone with Sauron. Or Sauron. <clears throat> Wait. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Uh, was not able to reach the keyboard in time. Maybe I might have to call call the stream early today because it is my cough is not cooperating. It's normally not this bad. It. I really hope these new meds work. Cause I I think the cause is allergies. Uh, it could also be reflex. I'm not sure. Uh, but hopefully both of those are resolved, so we'll, we'll just see if my cough goes away over time. Because it would be so nice to be able to play without keeping a keyboard on hand with an easily accessible mute button. 
it uh gets annoying real fast especially since um it's a lot easier to make mistakes with the controllers it's really easy to reach in time if i'm already playing with a keyboard but sometimes it's hard to move fast enough wait can i go can i go down here missed opportunity but that's okay I don't know what would have been down there, but it would have been a cool secret entrance to the final level. Or maybe it could like skip the boss fight. Don't really know what it would do, but it would be fun. Okay, now we're gonna run around as a little cannon cube. And hope we don't die. I mean, it, it would be really hard to fail at this point. I think we have like th four f hits until we die. And if we use the fire flower, another three, it's like seven. Oh wait, no, uh, two. Still, six hits before I die on, like, the, on the bosses. Uh, the bosses in this game are not, not that difficult. Maybe a little bit difficult in the final level, when they have the boss gauntlet, but for the most part, they're not something to be concerned with. Yeah, I think I'll wrap it up with a little bit of watermelon game category. This week of game. How do I update? Did this work? No, it did not. Oh, there's the done button. Suica game. Category Suica game. Done. There we go. But yeah, this is the ni really, really nice part about playing a game on the Switch. Once it saves. I'm just going to exit the title screen, make sure it auto saves. Now I can just exit it and go immediately to Suica Game without having to uh, pull out my capture card. Wait, did Suica Game have an update? Did they add something cool? Wait, how long will this take to update? Um... Okay, it's probably not actually two minutes. Okay, that's not that bad. We'll wait for the update. It looks like it'll probably be about a minute. That's definitely, definitely manageable. But yeah, if you haven't played Suica Game, definitely worth checking out. Um, it is a very, it's like Tetris meets 2024 is a good way to describe it. Uh, basically, you combine a bunch of fruit. And then, or you, you place a bunch of fruit, and if they're the same type of fruit, they merge into a slightly bigger fruit. And you're, like, filling up a little box. And whenever the box overflows, or even anything at all launches to the top, you lose. And it's a very, very traumatizing fruit game, because sometimes things do not go where you want them to go. And it just makes you sad. But it's also very addicting, so you can't stop yourself. So you just suffer. Uh, and it's a it's quite the roller coaster of emotions. This game, highly recommend it. Yeah, what could this be? Under did they do a Christmas update, or maybe they removed the Halloween update? I feel like it could be either, because they had the Halloween update for like two weeks after Halloween. It would be sad if they removed it and didn't replace it with something else, though. But I don't know what else could have been changed. Yep. They just uh they just removed the Halloween update. Is that all? Is that all it was? So that's cool. <laughs> uh, don't, don't, um, I, I don't like that. <laughs> I, uh, no longer have the Halloween update and I don't have another, uh, fun update instead. So, if you have not updated it, I would probably recommend against it unless they added something else. I, I was really hoping for, like, a Christmas update. Or even, like, a, a Thanksgiving update. But that would have been weird. Because I don't... 
Well, I guess it wouldn't be that weird. Animal Crossing has a uh, Thanksgiving. But, like, this is a mostly Japanese game. So it would be a bit surprising if there was a Thanksgiving update. But not, you know, it's not completely out of the, out of the question. Games have done it before. Okay, so that strawberry should be fine in that corner. And then can we roll everything together? I think so. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, so this isn't that much of a mess yet. Keyword is yet, though. Uh, there, there's always there's always room for a mess. Okay, now we can get rid of that cherry. Not like it was causing a problem yet, but it's nice to get that out of the way. Now that one, that is a problem. Hopefully I can roll the orange over so the grapes combine. Good. If I make an orange here, that's just gonna cover that cherry forever. So I think I will, sorry, not make an orange, make an apple there. It's just gonna cover the cherry. So I think I instead should make an apple up in the corner and it will eventually get used. And then maybe, let's see, if we get a cherry, that's good. We can get a grape down there. Perfect, now an apple. Okay, so we have all the small fruit taken care of. What else do we need to uh, set up? Ideally, we would actually get an apple right here. And then this one will be playing the long game. So let's hope that these did not fall the wrong direction. And uh, we did get a big orange, that's actually unfortunate. Okay, that's fine. We can make do with that orange. It's not, it's not what I wanted, but it's workable. Because now we can make an orange here. Yeah, okay. Perfect. We got, we got good fruit for this. Good. And then now we can get rid of this cherry or strawberry hopefully good now I have a cherry that I don't think I will be able to do anything with so I think I'm just gonna toss it in the corner and then hope that it does not come back to bite me which it's looking like it is okay so this part's a bit weird I might try getting something over on the side but I think all of this will just eventually be covered by a melon and there's not much I can do about it, so I don't probably shouldn't spend too much time in this corner. Okay, this will launch the chair, the grape. But I think that will be fine because this might launch the grape as well. Good. Now I can get a pear off to the left side. Okay, I like that. And now I can get, let's see, what what do we have here? Strawberry? Good. I, I want to try to roll this. Hello, Agawin. Welcome, welcome. We're playing some fruit game today. It's... Sorry, I had a cough. Um, I'm trying to go for more points, I guess. I think it's been ambitious to say I'm trying to go for double watermelon. Because we have not gotten close at all. <laughs> And I barely cleared a 3,000. I feel like the jump between those two is probably pretty big. But yeah, I wanna... I know what happens when you get double watermelon, and I think it would be very satisfying to get that. So that's kind of in my side goal. I uh, definitely haven't been grinding the game as much as I was grinding. But I still very much like it. I did make the unfortunate mistake today of updating it. And it turns out that the update did nothing but remove the Halloween update. So now I don't have the ability to change backgrounds at all. Uh, maybe it did something else, because then I wouldn't feel as bad, but I'm pretty sure it just removed content and didn't add anything else, uh, which is a bit unfortunate. I was really hoping for, I don't know, a Christmas update, I think. And I covered the cherry. It might fall down. If it can fall down, I think we're good. I don't know if it's gonna fall there. Uh, well, if we, okay, this should, this might cause everything to shift well. 
Oh, wait. No, that's that's so good. Then maybe we can roll this apple over. Perfect. Okay, that's really good. Okay, that grape is actually going to be a problem. I need to try to slowly make this slowly make this bigger. Oh, well. Now we just we just made the problem worse. I I should have just ignored this side. Well, it's too late to fix it now, so hopefully things work out. I doubt they will, but you know, hopefully. At least, uh, at least they're taking up less room in the corner. So maybe it, maybe it did work out. It's not actually too bad. But yeah, I was trying to just kind of make a large fruit in the corner that would eventually roll over. But instead we made like a medium-sized fruit that rolled into the, into the bottom. Which is also... That's okay. It's not like the end of the world. Then we need to wait for things to shift a, li a little bit because I need that apple. Good. And now we should be able to make another pear here, which will give us a pineapple. I really need to just stop tossing fruit in the corner. Uh, it never works out for me. But I don't really know what else I'm supposed to do with the small fruit. Maybe I need to go watch, like... May maybe this game has, like, tutorials now. I feel like it's been out long enough. I'm sure people have tutorials on how to, how to, how to manipulate the fruit. Okay, this is decent, aside from the fact that the melon is above the pineapple. I think we can still work with that. I just need to be careful not to drop a small fruit in between them. Okay, that's a good start. Is there any way that I can drop these fast enough? Ooh, ooh okay, that, that worked. Uh, this was, this was a mistake. This was a mistake. Right, now I need a, if I don't get a strawberry, I'm doomed. Okay, strawberry, perfect. Apple. Okay, so we did not fill the crevices. So far, so good. And then we need to make, we need to make an apple over here. We just kind of need to make an apple on top and it'll fall down. I think if I merge this with another with another decapon, that should make an orange at some point. And I just have to hope it merges with the correct fruit. Wait, that should help. That will force it to merge with the correct fruit. Okay, my luck did not pan out there. Wait, we have to work fast, we have to work fast. Is that, is this saveable? Those might, this might be okay. Hmm. That, I think that's actually really bad. Yeah, now it's really, really bad, okay. Well, <laughs> we met, we messed up. Uh, that orange rolled the opposite direction that it needed to, and uh, I don't really see a great way to save it now. Uh, it is possible we can still like cram something down there though, uh, so it might be okay. Like if I can make, Let's see if I can turn, if I can stack two apples on this left, I think we'll be okay, and things will probably roll the direction. The only problem is we don't have a ton of space to fit two apples because we're getting really close to the a bit close to the top, and that's like a pretty narrow area. So it's definitely, definitely doable, but it's not as easy as I want it to be. <laughs> so no, see, now all we need is one, one regular sized orange and one golden. Okay, perfect. And we put too much weight on the other side. Uh, it's not over though. If I can turn this, oof, wait, uh, it's getting, it's looking more over. No. Oh my gosh, that was such a gradual failure. <laughs> it just kept inching slowly. That is not what I thought my downfall would be. The pear just slowly got pushed out of the out of the box. Okay, that was decent though. Like that was looking really good if the pear went down. But the problem was I kept stacking large fruit on the right and that eventually just kind of pushed it. It pushed the peach out of the way. 
was not was not great. That's fine. That happens. That was that was a good warm up though. That, that was a pretty solid warm up. I feel like my warm ups usually end a lot a lot sooner than that, so I think I'm improving on average. Or maybe I just got lucky. Could could have just been luck. Uh, it's hard to say if I'm getting better or just sometimes get lucky. I don't know what to do with this cherry. Maybe if we just wait a little bit, we'll be fine? Yeah, okay. I actually want to try to make another apple over here first before merging them. And then, okay, there's a chance that I can get this to roll correctly. No, I can't. It was worth a shot, uh, especially since we're so early that I don't think cherries can really block anything yet. Uh, but my goal is to try to drop two fruit back to back, uh, but try to get the cherry to end up below the, <laughs> the strawberry. <laughs> it almost never works. Like, I don't think it's... I've only got it to work, like, once, and it's usually if the fruit has to roll past, like, four other fruit. But I always... I always, I always go for the gamble. Because, like, you never know. What if one day it does work out? You always gotta pre be prepared for that... that situation. There's always that nagging question of what if. And this one's not looking too hot. It's looking better though. Oh wait, this is actually looking decent? Hmm. I think we can work with this. If we can make an apple over here, that will really, that will make an apple. That will merge with this apple. But then it will relieve pressure, which will make these make an apple as well. That's not too bad. So I need to start preparing to get another orange here, and I think we'll be good. Or persimmon, I think. Pretty sure that I, I've read that the. Um, the bright orange ones are supposed to be persimmons. I always think of them as regular oranges and the small ones as cuties, which is like a, it's not a type of orange really, it's more just a brand of orange, uh, but they look very much like that. There we go, oh my gosh, yep, okay. I thought those were gonna roll in the opposite direction because they really were looking like that. Okay, so on this side, we have a strawberry that's in the way. And on this side, we have one orange. Neither of them are great. I think I can work with either. There is a chance we can get rid of the strawberry. It's not completely out of the woods yet, but uh, I don't think the odds are that high. Unless this can somehow roll through. And if it doesn't roll through, I think we just made a blockage for no reason. So let's just... Like, it did roll through, but I don't know if that was a bad thing or not. Because now I also want the grape to go through. Okay, I don't think I made the right call there. I definitely did not make the right call there. It could have gone worse. But it could have gone a whole lot better too. But that's okay, because now we have... Now we have an orange on this side. And that's not going to cause issues later. And we'll just give it a cherry frame, because it was looking a little bit lonely. And yeah, now we have a ton of like medium sized fruit blocking things yeah this this is not looking too this is looking real bad real bleak i can at least break a thousand but i don't i don't think i'll even be able to get two thousand with this board uh, it is really really rough we need to start i need to i need to like i need to make a pay peach and then see what happens i think But that's a bit harder to do because uh, things are just kind of filling up now. But yeah, I need to make another peach on top and hope that maybe if they become a melon, it'll settle to one corner. And if it doesn't, I mean, I won't call it because I, I always like to see how many points I can get. But if the melon doesn't shift how I want it to, I think I just need to accept that it's a, that it's just a high score run at that point as opposed to one going for two watermelon. Okay, can I make this work? No, <laughs> no I cannot, I rolled the wrong direction. <laughs> I could almost make it work. 
Okay, if I drop this here, it will hopefully merge the oranges and then also give me a grape on the other side. Okay, uh, that cleared a bunch of small fruit. It actually rolled exactly how I wanted it to, so very pleased with that. Can I stack the strawberry on the other strawberry? No, I cannot. But maybe I'll get a straw. Mm. Okay, I did get a strawberry eventually, that's good. Okay, and then if I drop the strawberry, there's a chance it can roll it the grape to the right. No? No, it did not, but I think that's fine, because now we have a melon. Uh, both sides look pretty awful. Oh, okay, yeah, when they have, when you have, like, a stack of fruit that just compressed down, it's super satisfying. I feel like there, there's something it reminds me of. Have you ever seen an expandable cup? They're, they're not, or a packable cup. I feel like packable cup is what they're called. Let's see, packable, packable cup. Yeah, okay, that's kind of the right word. They're like a packable camping cup, but they're basically like this disc, and when you, you can pop it out, and it's kind of cup shaped, but it's like ribbed a little bit because it's made of a, a series of rings. But when you're done with it, you just smack it down back into a flat ring. And that is what, that's what this reminds me of whenever you just get a stack that just compresses down. They're um, pretty, they're, they're not the most useful cup. Uh, they don't really serve a huge niche, I don't think, in camping. But a lot of people do like them, but they're pretty cool. They're at least satisfying, and that is important. But like, I would much prefer to just put something in my water bottle. Or use like um, a plastic bag. <laughs> Like a camel back or something. Wait, will this work? We have so many small fruit on the side that are just gonna break everything. What if I... I think that if I make like a pear, there's a chance I can roll this melon over. Because if I can get this pear and or turn it into a peach and then roll it over, I think it'll actually be so good. Okay, that didn't work out how I wanted to, but it was a valiant attempt. But yeah, I want to say... I, I want to roll this pear underneath it. It's looking really difficult as I do it, but it feels so possible. Okay, so these... This will either work really well, or it'll just make a peach in the bottom corner, and then I'll be worse off. Oh! Oh? Beep, taco, beep, beep, taco. Ah oh, man, that was that was so close. Wait, but they're still shifting. They're still shifting. What if? Okay, I feel like this this can work. You already have to go to sleep. All right, thanks for stopping by. Glad you enjoyed this game. Hope you have a wonderful evening. That was so close to being really cool. <laughs> I mean, I still was happy with the result. Because I think we can still make it work. But these peaches are so close to touching. Okay, if I convert this, it will pop the melon over. So what I really need to do is try to walk this peach up. Which I think if we weight it down enough, might work. Okay, well, now it's over. <laughs> it's it's not completely over, but uh, it's definitely a lot harder to walk it down now. Uh, so new plan is I just try to make this into a pineapple because I don't think we can get the peaches to touch anymore. Also, I, I think I've mentioned it, but 
if I just randomly stop talking, it's probably because I'm coughing. Uh, allergies are being real troublesome right now. Actually, wait, what time of day is it? Oh, it's actually time for me to take allergy meds real quick. Uh, let's see if that helps. We just picked up a new kind, so hopefully... Hopefully I just needed, like, a different one for this season. Where did I put my controller? How how do I how do I play the game without a controller? There it is. You know how like every electronic these days uses a controller or sorry is black. That's not even the right word. I was just thinking of the controller, but like most electronics these days are black. But I have white sheets usually so like I don't know why or white blanket I don't know why I can lose an electronic in that like if it was you know dark sheets or maybe the middle of the night or something sure losing a black controller in the middle of a sh your blanket makes sense but it's not <laughs> it's like the middle of, it's midday it's very bright, but somehow I can still misplace them. Maybe it's because they're all samey. Could just be that it looks like all of my other emotes. I don't think this will work. No, it did not. I'm glad I tried. But it very much did nothing. Okay, can I get a grape down here? Oh wait, this might work. This might work. Okay, that got us a pineapple. Hmm... It's, you know, there, there's not a lot of space here, but there is enough space. Like, I think I could get a melon still. I don't think that's uh, completely out of the picture. If I'm careful. Which is a big if. Okay, so this will get me... Uh, actually, <laughs> I forgot, there's one more. We need two peaches. But no, that's still that's still very possible. Okay, so that will make that will make an orange. Uh, this will get us an apple. It doesn't matter which one becomes an apple, because we need to convert them both anyway. This is a bit tricky, because I don't know where that the decoupon will roll. Okay, I think if I cram fruit in the middle, we can save this. Please, please, please move. Please. I know I ask for a lot <laughs> in this game. I, I just want things to magically work out. But this this one could easily get me a pair if they just touch. But it can also ruin everything. So, I mean, it depends which apple they converge with. If they m merge with the right apple, we're good. If they merge with the left apple, we might be good. I don't know for sure. But if I drop this here, it might budge it enough and they'll combine. Or it will do absolutely nothing. I, just, I didn't really have much else to try there. Okay. I think we're, I think we're back. I feel like we're so back. Depends where things shoot. Okay, this is, this is so possible, but so far from possible at the same time. Okay, so here's the situation we're in, right? I need to make a pear on top of this peach. And then hopefully the pear will combine to a peach and then combine with that pineapple which will combine with the melon and we'll get a melon. But there's also a ton of small fruit stacked on top, so we might just launch stuff out. 
We also just don't have much space, which also is a problem. But this, and this grape right here could prevent things from rolling down. There's a lot of like small things in the way that I will cause issues. And we also have to get super lucky with the fruit we get. So it's like, it's so close to possible, but barely possible at the same time. And I think, yeah, there, there was like, if I got two oranges in a row, it was possible, but if we get any other like combination, we're doomed. Uh, but it was a very good, very good attempt. I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy as long as I get a regular melon, or like over 2,000 points, which don't always go hand in hand. Sometimes you have runs that get like a full watermelon, and you don't even break 2,000. Uh, the points in this game are weird, because like merging small fruits still gives you a pretty fair amount of points. So like sometimes you'll just uh and like merging a watermelon is worth way fewer points than you think it would be for how hard it is to get not like it's the hardest thing but it just really feels like it would be worth more okay so we have two cherries maybe i can drop one there and it'll be fine oh wait maybe it is fine don't really have anywhere to drop this grape at the moment but that's okay now let's try to make a peach over in this corner. Now we have a couple ways to do this. Depends if this goes in the right direction. This might work great. And it worked great. Cool. Okay, so we still can't do anything about that apple. Uh, that's not the way I expected that to pop. But I think that actually works out. So I needed to... I need to get rid of that strawberry. Now I kind of just want to pop this orange out and see how it goes. Okay, so that these can still touch. There's not enough pressure yet. Uh, and then we might be able to get... We can definitely fit an apple here somehow. But I need to be very careful to not throw too many small fruits in it. Okay, so now it's looking a lot harder to get an apple. We actually need to try to not make an apple right now until I can get rid of this, until I can get rid of this grape, because I think that'll just block things. Okay, if I make an apple here, I think it won't block stuff yet. It'll just kind of sit up top and maybe be good. Oh, wait, wait. Okay, this will converge everything into a peach. Uh, they are separated by a bunch of stuff, but peaches aren't so far down the line that it's like a bad thing. Because, like, we can definitely make another pe peach between these two, and then I think we'll be okay. And then I actually want these to combine, so we need to avoid placing anything here until we get another, either a double cherry or a strawberry. Uh, grapes won't work. Uh, that'll just kind of block everything. Actually, what I need to do is whack those down. I don't think we can get enough force from it from that. That's okay. Uh, well, we've already covered it, so there doesn't really matter now if we try to prevent it placing something in that spot. Yeah, we just have to accept that that grape, that, uh, not grape, that apple on the bottom is doomed. So we need to change a plan. We need to make a peach here instead. Or, a, or sorry, we need to make a pineapple here or here. On the right is definitely easiest. But there's a bunch of small fruit on the left, which I really, really need to start getting rid of. Let's see, if this could work if this budges the grape. If it doesn't budge the grape, we're doomed and it was all for nothing. I, I think... It will shift? Okay. That's good. Yeah, no, that's very good. No, we can work with that. Uh, there's still some small fruit that I do not want to have on me. Uh, we have the option. If I can throw some grapes down here, we could definitely turn this into an apple, which would be very useful. 
The only problem is that doesn't leave me a place to toss this cherry. So I'm thinking we just leave it here and then hopefully we don't merge anything. And then we also need to get a strawberry down there. Ooh. Wait. Is that okay? I think that's okay. That, uh... I was really relying on those strawberries to touch. Okay, well that didn't work quite as intended. But I think it's okay. Because at least we don't have, like, a very small fruit down there anymore. Probably should have waited to place that grape. Uh, but I think it's okay, because this will make a pineapple, and then that will free up a lot of tension. And then we can go back to trying to convert convert those into an apple. Which I still don't know if I need an apple there, but... You know, if I, ever, if I do ever need an apple or gold. Or not. It could also not work. Should have seen that coming. There, There is always that chance, but I did not want to consider it because I really wanted an apple there. Okay, so this is... We have a pineapple. We can make another pineapple here. The only issue is... Can we? We have so many small fruit. I was so uh, focused on the left side that I kind of got distracted. Now there's just a big pile of fruit here that I can't deal with. Okay, well this should hopefully be benevolent if I just place it in this corner. Uh, I can at least get rid of this cherry, that's good. It doesn't really do anything but I can get rid of it. But I need to get these grapes out of the way. Let's see, if I double drop we might be able to get... Oh, wait. Wait. We got good rolls. Okay, we were able to get those grapes out of the way. Then those will touch, and that'll give us another apple. <laughs> okay, and what is, where does this leave up? We still have that grape. That grape will cause problems. But, it's just a grape, so we can possibly... Whack it and convert it into something bigger. Perfect. And now we're going to get an apple. And if these touch, that will merge with this peach and hopefully get us this pineapple. Let's see if that works. Cool. That got us a melon. Now we have a peach over here, which is actually um, pretty, pretty favorable. This is not too bad. I don't like the strawberry, um, but I think I just need to ignore it. I don't think I can really deal with that strawberry. And um, if I try to, it'll just make it a bigger fruit for us to block in the way. So I'm just gonna, just gonna ignore my problems for a bit. Usually works out. Denial is a very, <laughs> very powerful strategy in the stream. Is it a powerful strategy? I feel like it was. <laughs> but it's, uh, it clearly did not work. Okay. So if we can make a dig upon here, we'll free up room to drop a strawberry. We just have to hope we get a dig upon and a strawberry very close to each other. Wait. Did we actually get it? Yes, but it did not do what I th thought it would. Not perfectly, at least. It was close, though. Like, that almost worked really well. Unfortunately, almost working doesn't really solve the problem. Uh, what else can we do? I could try to relieve some pressure by making a pair here. That seems doable. Let's see, can we actually make it work though? Oof, that uh, did not roll the direction I thought it would. Unfortunate, but not not completely over. Okay, so that gives us the pineapple. Uh, we'll actually have to just, we, we need to wait for it to shift naturally. Okay, does it look like it's done shifting? I think mostly, yeah. 
Okay, this is a decent spot to be in. Less decent, but still okay. As long as we get the pair to move down. Good. Oh, that cherry is definitely going to cause issues. We need to try to block it. Okay, I think... Uh... I was going to say, I think we're good. But we are very much not good. Okay, that... I don't think that helped, but I don't think it made it worse. I'm just... I, I need to get a cherry down there. There's not much I can do without a cherry. Because that's like three fruit that are going to block any kind of merge. Hmm. Unless I can maybe bypass the cherry. There's possibility I could split it with the strawberry, but I don't trust my aim that well. That much. Uh, we'll, just we'll, just, we'll just ignore it and hope it, hope it works out. Oh, and now, now we get the cherry. Now when it's too late. Or maybe not too late. But no, it, yeah, no, it's definitely too late. Okay. So this will flatten down into a pear. Does that help me? I don't think so. No, that definitely does not help at all. Unless we can get another pair here. Which is possible, but we're running out of space. Because we need to get an apple. Okay, it's definitely more possible now. But we need an orange. We need a big fruit. We didn't get a big fruit. Yeah, I don't know what I was supposed to do there. Maybe? Yeah, no. There, there were, were little options. Okay, that was that was good. Uh, I think I think I'll have to call it there. My cough is getting pretty bad right now. So we'll uh, we'll be back tomorrow. I'll be doing space exploration, uh, more Factorio tomorrow. So yeah, there'll be space exploration, and then probably probably start the stream with like half an hour of watermelon game at least, because it's a it's a good warm up game during the like the starting soon segment. Because it usually takes a while for things to get started, so I figured I might as well play a nice relaxing game during that time. Before you get to the chaos that is... What's it called? Space exploration? <laughs> but yeah, that's it for me today. I hope you all have a wonderful evening, and I'll see you all next time. Peace!